Right, today we're in the village of Wixford, just outside of Ulster, to look at Fieldside. And as you can see, it's a very substantial, mature, detached house set behind a really expansive gravel driveway. You'll note over there on the right that we've got an oil-fired central heating system. And then as we get nearer the house, you'll see there's electric vehicle charging point. I'll take a little bit of travel as we go inside. Right. So, the first thing I'd draw your attention to as we come in is this absolutely gorgeous wooden floor. Shut that door. Right. So, the reception hall goes through to the rear and we're going to start at this end and I'm going to show you study which is a dead handy room the ground floor here does allow for compartmentalizing your living space which I think in this day and age is absolutely essential with families we've got a, a nice big main living room here with a fitted log burner two sets of French doors out onto the deck. A really good size main living room in addition to the study. And then we've also got a really useful snug. So this would make a great games room or just somewhere to escape to if you're not finding common ground with watching the TV. Um, so a good room. This was originally the sitting room uh, before the house was adapted or in part anyway. We've got a brick built fireplace and a fitted log burner again. Right, we're now coming into the centerpiece of the house, which is this rather fabulous dining kitchen, very extensively fitted with a range of wall and base cupboards. We've got quartz work surfaces. We've got an oil fired Stanley unit here, which is like an Arga. So two cooking plates on the top and then obviously ovens, etc. Um, it also serves the domestic hot water and central heating. So really handy. Um, here, we've got a very serious chef in the house. So we've got a wok burner, two further gas rings. We've got a halogen hob and an induction hob, as well as this huge oven underneath. So you're certainly gonna get a very good sized turkey in there at Christmas. We've also got an integrated microwave over here. The American fridge freezer is included in the sale. We've got a dishwasher, pan drawers, two sink units, and a built-in washing machine. The door is about to be fitted to that, so that will all match in beautifully. So that is your dining kitchen. We've then got a rear hall with ground floor WC there, and then access here into the garage, which has a vaulted ceiling with storage above. Used for storage, which is fantastic. Door there to the rear. And then up above there, you've got a mezzanine with extra storage. There's power wall for the car charger unit up there. There are solar panels on the back, generating about eight kilowatts. That's a Tesla power wall, by the way. I couldn't think of the word at the time. Let me take you out, so let me take you upstairs. These carpets have only recently been laid, so in fact, they've still got the new carpet smell. Um, this window is a real feature of the landing. Nice full height window, so lots of 
natural light coming in. I'm going to start at this end. We'll finish with the master. So we've got a family bathroom here. This end of the building, we've got double bedroom, hardwood, double glazing, as you can see there. This room, again, another double, but they use it, as you can see, as a gym. And then we'll move along into the west wing, as it were. So lots of storage here on the landing, both here and directly in front of me. We've then got another double bedroom. I guess this would be the guest bedroom, built in wardrobe and an ensuite. And then on the rear, a really impressive master bedroom with part vaulted ceiling, dual aspect and a nice big ensuite shower room with walk-in shower. Right, so now we're going to show you the garden <laughs> and the garden is absolutely stunning. I'm going to say it's about three parts of an acre. I will confirm that if you're interested in the property. We've got a good size greenhouse over there. We've got all sorts of different seating out areas. So outside entertaining space is in abundance. Now, the owner of the property is a very serious gardener and I think that is reflected. I hope this video does it justice actually because the garden is, is absolutely beautiful. Um, there's a heck of a range of different shrubs, trees, flowers, fruit trees. This here is for the cats. Um, all sorts of trees. I'll walk you down, just give you an idea of, of what's what. But it really is so private. Nice mature hedges, got some raised vegetable beds through there and then all sorts of different fruit trees soft fruit enclosure raised beds there chickens aren't included and then you've got a, a further area at the bottom here which is let to go a little bit wilder So you've got some really tranquil space down here. It runs down to a little brook, actually. So if you've got kids, this area here would be perfect to allow them to do what they want to. So that's it. Come along and see what you think.